Despite centuries of debate, the origin of humans is still in question. Some say humans were created. Others believe that we evolved naturally. So which one is it? The two opposing sides of this argument are religion and science. They both make valid arguments on how humans got here. Each has research, artifacts, and documents to back their claims. But in the end, they either use unquestioning faith or scientific theories to explain unanswered questions. Religions believe that God created humans. This is the fundamental belief of any religion. Whoever it was, and however it was done, the general belief is that God came from the heavens and created humans. Science believes in facts and hard evidence. Based on their data, research, and archaeological evidence, science has determined that humans naturally evolved, just like any other living thing on this planet. So who is right? In a way, they both are. All they have to do is cooperate with one another, and the question is resolved. Could it be that what each lacks in evidence, the other can provide? If God created humans, can science validate the possibilities? If the evolution theory is valid except for one missing link, can religion provide that piece of the puzzle? Imagine if each side were to consider the possibility of the other. Would this lead to new ideas? We live on a tiny planet in a small speck of a galaxy among hundreds of other galaxies in this universe. Our universe is among thousands of other universes out there in space. Whether you believe in God or not, those are the facts. Science insists that life exists out there in space, and yet they discredit the notion of one advanced enough to reach this planet in the past, as if we were the first thinking beings to have evolved. The reason why they cannot agree is that religion prefers unquestioning faith in a powerful, albeit mysterious God and science is convinced that we are the gods. The theory of evolution makes sense, except for one problem. The gap in human evolution, sometimes called the missing link. This is a gap that science itself has confirmed. Doesn't it make better sense that the gap is evidence of intervention? Something religion has been saying all along. This evolutionary gap can be explained with religious belief that God came from the heavens and created humans, although in a much different way. For religion and science to accept each other's viewpoints, each must accept the possibility of a more advanced civilization visiting Earth in the distant past. Not only is this possible, it may answer many of the unresolved questions that have perplexed humans for centuries. This doesn't mean that the ancient visitors were little green spacemen and they probably weren't big-eyed broccoli stems with feet or eight-foot lizard monsters with plasma guns. More likely, they looked similar to humans with the same emotional and physical needs. People from space creating humans would be considered blasphemy to most of the major religions. For those that believe in a singular God, there is only one God, and God created the heavens and the earth. When he was satisfied, God created man. God watches over us and lives within our hearts. God is an all-powerful supreme being and can do anything. To a non-believer, this sounds more like a fairy tale. But this belief does have merit and should not be dismissed. Simply making this up in our highly sophisticated brains out of boredom is not a good enough answer. All religions believe that a supreme being from the heavens visited us. So it is possible they are speaking of the same event. Combine this with a scientifically confirmed gap in human evolution and you have an approximate date of when this event occurred. Fortunately, science can be persuaded to accept the possibility. The trouble is that most religions refuse to even consider the thought. What religion doesn't realize is that this possibility proves their beliefs, just in another way. It doesn't mean that religion is wrong. Whatever words are in the ancient text are still true. The experiences and miracles really did happen. The stories and lessons from God are still words to live by. Very little really changes. If we are willing to concede at least the possibility that an advanced race was here in the past, 
the most important thing to realize is what they left behind. They wanted humans to live in morals and values. This appears to have been very important to them. It is often viewed as the key to being accepted into God's society. Every religion believes in these moral concepts of peace, love, understanding, consideration, and unselfishness. Whatever you think God is, these are the lessons He wanted all of us to remember. Working together, both religion and science can provide the answers to unresolved questions. With this information, the human race can learn to join together in peace. We need each other so we can prepare ourselves. Because if these ancient visitors were once here, they will surely be back.